Is it recording? Mm. Good morning. Um, I literally just got out of bed. I slept in a little bit, so it's like, let's check. Well, 7.30. That is not my typical jam, but it's Friday, and I worked a lot this week, so I gave myself some time to sleep in. Um, I randomly just decided I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day. I'm gonna attempt it, because I feel like I'm gonna forget to record everything, but I'm gonna try. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, I'll also show kind of like what I do in a day, typically, uh, besides work. Um, my workout routine, my water routine. I don't know, that's weird. Hi, baby. Hi. Hello. Oh, big stretch, big stretch. Okay, so first thing I actually do is take my dog out. <laughs> Hello. Um, so first thing I did is I put ice in my cup. Um, then I just like cut this little lemon wedge in half. Um, it depends on the lemon. Sometimes I do a quarter, sometimes I do a half. But, squeeze that, squeeze that bad boy in there. And then I'll add some water over that. Most mornings I'll, gosh, oh, I should brush my hair. Most mornings I, We'll spend like 30 minutes or so on the treadmill first before breakfast. So I'll do like a four mile run or I'll walk a little bit. Um, it just kind of helps start my day fresh. If I'm doing like a longer run, I usually wait till late morning or if I sleep in. So because I slept in this morning, I'm gonna wait and do my workout after breakfast. I'm just gonna drink my lemon water, um, eat breakfast, and then I'll get some work done while my food digests and then hit a workout. Okay, first, I'm actually gonna feed the dog. Watch how good he is. Hold on. Boomer, sit. Wait. Wait. Okay, go eat. Good boy. Just like we practiced. Okay, I'm about to make breakfast. Uh, my go-to breakfast is oatmeal. Um, I kind of do the same thing every morning, so I'll show you guys how I do it. Um, it's called the Soulful Project. I like it because for everyone you buy, they give back to um, a local food bank in your community, which I think is really cool. So anyway, it also tastes delicious. This is the brown sugar pecan. So I just put that in there, uh, boil some water. Um, I also add some protein. So once, once my water boils, I'll add that in, add the protein in, and then I also add a little bit of rice cauliflower. Um, you can't even taste it, it adds volume and is a nice way to get some veggies in that you can't even taste. Okay, so I've added all my ingredients, mixed it really well. Now I'm just gonna let it sit for about five minutes and it kind of lets the oats absorb that water. Okay, here's the final bowl. It's not exactly pretty or aesthetic or whatever people call it, but I think oatmeal is all about the toppings. I like to put fruit, dark chocolate, granola, and some almond butter. So yeah, time for breakfast. Okay, I'm gonna do a collagen latte. So every morning I take a scoop of collagen. It's great for joint and bone health. Um, I do realize a latte is a shot of espresso with steamed milk, so don't come at me, but I use regular coffee. Um, so I'm using, uh, focus, please focus, there we go. French roast this morning. I always take 6 a.m. runs um, vitamin cup. That's how I get my daily vitamins in and I drink coffee anyway and it's delicious and there's so many other reasons. Um, everyone always asks me what my favorite flavor is. I don't really have a favorite flavor. Like I kind of just rotate them. But if I had to choose, I would say breakfast blend and french roast are probably my favorites. So I'm gonna put some almond milk in here and then I'll do my coffee normal in the Keurig and yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, let's make this latte magic happen. <laughs> okay, it doesn't look very pretty, but there it is. <laughs> okay, I got the foam to come out. So it's just a French roast K-cup. Um, I did the eight ounce setting, and then I frothed almond milk. And while my almond milk was frothing, I mixed in collagen and a tablespoon of maple syrup. And then I'll probably like sprinkle some cinnamon on top. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh gosh, oh my. Okay, yep. Cheers. <laughs>
Okay, I'm running a bit behind, which is very typical in my day-to-day -day life, so I wanted to show that. Uh, I'm getting ready for a quick workout. It's already 11.30, so it probably won't be a very long one, but I wanna show you guys kind of what I'm gonna do in the gym today. So I'm gonna take you guys in there. I'm gonna show you a full uh, lower body dumbbell workout. Uh, I'm taking one scoop of marathon before I go. Um, I'm gonna start with four miles on the treadmill. I'm currently doing um, a little run challenge. Well, I'm trying to. Um, it's where you run a mile extra every day in December. So whatever the date is, like that's your miles. So today is December 4th, so I'm gonna run four miles today. Yesterday I ran three. On the second I ran two. On the first I ran one. You get the point. Um, I'm not sure if I can make it all the way to 25. Um, I think I can do it, but I'm gonna listen to my body and it's just a fun challenge, so I'm not gonna hurt myself to try to do it. Honestly, my goal is not really to finish. It's not really to get to the 25th day. It's more just to see how far I can get. So once I get to like 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, like in a row, that's a lot, and I'm not sure that my body's kind of ready for that. So I'm just gonna listen to my body, make it as far as I can, and on those longer days, I might break it up. But today, I have four miles, and then I'm gonna do kind of a typical lower body workout with dumbbells that I think is really good, specifically for runners. Um, something that's helped me strengthen my legs. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. Okay, I just finished up my run. As you can see, it says 4.25. Um, I ran four miles um, in about 29.45, so a little faster than 7.30 pace. Um, for this run challenge, I'm trying to take the runs a little bit, trying to take the runs a little bit easier because I know that they're gonna add up fast. So yeah, just ran four miles and then walked a quarter mile. So now I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna do a little bit of strength training. I'll show you guys um, all the movements, but I'll post the full workout here on the screen. Um, yeah, it's gonna be super quick. Just a workout that's good for runners and strength training for those ladies. Okay, so for this whole workout, all you're gonna need is two dumbbells. Um, I have two 10 pounders, but you can use whatever you want. Let's do it. Um, today's goal is to do 10,000 steps total throughout the day. 
So I run, we'll help with that, and then when I walk the dog, it's 10,000 steps plus two minute planks. So I'm gonna do two one minute planks to finish out my workout. I just finished up my workout. Um, I had the four mile run plus the strength training, <laughs> strength training session plus the planks. So now I'm gonna go take my finish line and then shower super fast and make lunch. Okay, so as you saw, I just finished up my workout. So I'm taking one scoop of finish line. Um, quick story about finish line. Let me mix it up really quick. I like to use this little mixer. So Finish Line was the first product of 6AM yeah, that I tried um, and it was back when they first started, like 2018, 2017, I have no idea, my years just mixed together. Anyway, I've been using it since day one. I've used it every single day since I started with the exception of one week. We were going to visit my fiance's parents and I hadn't brought um, my blends, my 6 a.m. blends, um, and I was like, "We're it's only a week, like I'll just pick it back up when I get home, it's not a big deal. I was so wrong. My body could totally tell the difference because I've taken it every single day since I started. I literally swear by this stuff. This is the reason that I can hit my workouts the way I can and what really gives me that full recovery so I can bounce back from my workouts and hit a workout the next day. Um, I always take one rest day a week at the very least, sometimes two, um, but the reason that I can hit back-to-back -back workouts is definitely this. I knew I loved it, but once I went a week without it, I knew I needed it. So that's my story about finish line. I'm going to drink this really quick, go take a shower, come make lunch because I'm hungry. Okay, so I'm all showered up. Um, my hair is wet, but I'm too hungry to dry it. So for lunch, I think I'm gonna have um, some sort of scramble. So I'll probably do veggie and cheese scramble and then have toast or a bagel on the side. So breakfast number two, coming at ya. Um, yeah, but I'll just show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, so here's my lunch. I did a veggie and cheese scramble. So it's yellow squash, spinach, two eggs and cheddar cheese in the scramble. And then I topped it with ketchup because I put ketchup on everything. And I have two pieces of toast. One has a little bit of ghee. One has um, strawberry and raspberry jam. And then persimmons, which I've never had. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Okay. That's interesting. I've never had persimmons. It's like the texture of an apple. Not much flavor. Like, I don't think I would buy it again. Maybe I didn't get like, maybe it's like not ripe enough. I don't know. It's fine. It's just not like great, you know? Okay, so I have been out running errands um, for most of the afternoon. Um, so it's a little after six now and I am hungry. So I'm gonna make this fast. Um, this is my dinner tonight. Um, it's a, just a huge salad. Um, I have spinach, uh, like a cabbage lettuce mix, roasted Brussels sprouts, cucumbers, tomatoes, a little bit of mango rice, um, two air fried pieces of tilapia, um, Parmesan cheese, and then Caesar dressing. This is a typical meal for me and I'll still be very hungry after, so dessert to come. Okay, I just finished up dinner about an hour ago and usually I have like an afternoon snack and I didn't today, so I'm very hungry. Um, so I'm finishing off the day with like a big random bowl. The base is a little bit of yogurt mixed with pumpkin, puree, a little bit of protein powder and cinnamon. And then I topped it with a little bit of cereal, granola, um, some little mini salted caramel rice cakes and almond butter. So this should keep me full for the rest of the night. Yogurt is a really great um, like kind of bedtime snack or late night snack because it helps your body with recovery. And the extra protein helps as well. 
So yeah, this should keep me full. Um, I have one more thing I do before I go to bed, so I'll show that, and then that will complete my day. Also, I had to show this. This is the reality of it. This is what it looks like all mixed together. Don't knock it till you try it, people. It's so good. Okay, so the last thing I do every single night is I take my 6 a.m. run super greens. A question I get a lot is when is the best time to take your greens? And just like a lot of products and a lot of things in life, every body is different. So I would definitely recommend you try different things. It's all about trial and error. Um, this is just what works best for me, taking them at night. Um, I just find taking them at night works best for me because I think it helps like digest my food from the day. Um, and then, sorry if this is TMI, but then I always have a movement like first thing in the morning and that's just what I prefer. I know some people who take it in the morning and that works for them. So for the super greens, I would definitely recommend just like trial and error, see what works best for you. But I take them at night after all of my food is done for the day. Please keep in mind for these full days of eating, every day looks different. It depends on my activity, it depends on how busy I am. Some days I have three snacks, some days I have one like today, sometimes I have multiple snacks, um, my meals always look different. I try to switch things up, I think it's good for your body, but honestly when it comes to fueling as a runner, make sure you're getting your protein, your fat, your carbohydrates, make sure that you're hydrating enough. And also make sure that when you're hungry, you listen to those hunger signals because when you feed yourself when your body's hungry, you keep that metabolism going, which gives you those nice lean muscles. So, find what works best for you. Every day is different for me, but this is kind of what my day looked like today. Honestly, today was pretty hectic, but that's most days of my life, so yeah. Um, if you like videos like this, please let me know so I can do more in the future. But for now, if you have not already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe. Hit that like if you like this video. Um, yeah, see you in the next one.